This is not just a general missions conference or indeed another general unity event. It's, it's the gathering of a movement, actually. I think that's what it is. This event is about the movement of God, of, of his love to restore the world, isn't it? And the restoration he has commissioned. He's been working on it for thousands of years. And this restoration, this transformation is set to happen on a number of different levels. Firstly, personal. It's got to happen in the heart, hasn't it? It's also about God's transformational work as he's creating a new community of God's people, of his people, living the restoration dream because the church is meant to be the light on the hill. But it is more than that because it's about the totality of the world and the transformation of all things. This transformation plan is about the places we live in. It's about the neighborhoods, the villages, the towns, the cities, the boroughs and the islands. The Bible begins in a garden, ends in a renewed city. It's now time for our age and our generation to lift up its vision to the transformation of our places. It's time for us now to think about the social, cultural, and spiritual transformation of the places he has called us to bless. And thank God for the work of the church today. And in the words of the chief exec officer of my borough, it's impressive and it's laudable. Really good. But brothers and sisters, this is not a missions conference highlighting the work of the church and the needs of society. This event has a wider agenda. It is impressive and it is laudable. But then he went on to say, it's not strategic and it's not coordinated, is it? Or in other words, it's not unified. At its worst, we're competitive, we're insular, we're duplicating, self-centered, and at times empire building. I think we have to call it out as it is. That is not operating as the body of Christ. I don't mean necessarily do more. I'm not arguing for loads of activity, but I am arguing for more unified strategic coordination. When you join up the individual cogs, you begin to gain traction. This event is about unity for the sake of the kingdom of God to come to our places. This will only be done if we seek his kingdom and we operate within his one body under his headship. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Friendships, that's what it's based on. Long-term prayer. And then innovative, impactful, strategic, coordinated mission. This is what is happening not just in this country. It's all over the world. This is a move of God. And everywhere I go, I see exactly the same things. There are three distinct transformational moves he's making. The move to the city and the town, the move to fuller and deeper unity, and the move to release all the people of God. Or let me put it another way. He loves your places. So this event is thinking about city, actually. It's about place. It's about where we live, the reality of it. Denominations and organizations, get your head around this. Think city now. Think town. Not just your own family or churches. Think wider than that. As a pastor, you're not going to affect business across the city on your own. You're not going to affect education or the health service or poverty or environmental planning or policing or the arts. But your people can and they will. Thank God for the work of LICC, the Jubilee Center and others in this relentless pursuit of this vital truth. Let my people out. Brothers and sisters, that's the kingdom of God. So what does success look like from this event? This is a springboard. We are praying for more unity movements deeper. We're praying for the acceleration of the whole life disciples vision with less church-centric thinking. We're praying for over 50 sphere networks to be started in cities and towns. We're praying for less city and national-wide silos. Please God, less silo thinking. And we're praying for local churches themselves to be designed around blessing a city. What does it look like for a church to be designed around blessing a city and working in unity? God bless this event. God bless our places. Amen.